Hi, my name is Aaron Drain. I'm the writer at Fear Clinic. I'm here with Sean Evans of Back to the Movies. Aaron Drain, writer of the hit web show Fear Clinic, joins us tonight to speak about the Fear Clinic movie Indiegogo campaign. Now, how are you today, Aaron? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? I'm not too bad. Thanks for joining us. So, Fear Clinic was one of the most popular horror web series in Fearnet history, and now it has been adapted into a movie. What made you decide on turning this into a full feature film? Well, I started off as uh, the idea came uh, to me as a trilogy, uh, a franchise film trilogy. So the web series was mainly a way to launch the brand, and that's what we intended to do with the web series. And the, the feature film is the, uh, the logical next step to make, the, uh, to make this franchise happen. Fantastic. It sounds good. Now, how hard is it as a writer to adapt a web series into a film? Are there major differences that you need to keep in mind when scripting a feature film? Most definitely. Uh, you have to look at it both ways. One, adapting a, a feature-length idea, concept, and characters into a six-minute per episode format is incredibly difficult. It's almost like a series of inferences because there's no time to get out a lot of the information you traditionally have time for yeah, in a movie or feature-length film or even a TV show for that matter. So, um, yes, going the other direction in terms of adapting it into a feature-length film carries its own difficulties along with it, mainly because the web series was very, was very much designed to be episodic uh, and short form in its execution. The feature length film needed to be completely redesigned and uh, reconceptualized for a, a feature length uh, film uh, medium. So we basically took the characters and expanded them. Um, the characters had already been created prior to the web series, so that really wasn't the difficult part. The problem was um, was taking all these characters and putting them into a, a story that connected them all. You know, that give that, that kind of organically worked with the phobia fear clinic. So these uh, all these patients. Uh, would have had to have known each other previous to acquiring these phobias. So it was creating that device uh, around uh, kind of like the, the cause for their phobias and keeping that kind of as a reveal for later on in the movie. That was, uh, that was the heavy lifting. Wow, Aaron, it sounds like a lot of hard work, buddy, but uh, hopefully you'll pull it off. I'm confident that we will. It's a kick-ass script, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I collaborated with the director, Robert Hall, who directed the web series, and uh, is actually currently directing episodes of Teen Wolf. Wow, okay, fantastic. Friends I know that's really yeah. popular over there in the States. It is. He is actually uh, considered probably one of the best special effects uh, gurus uh, in Hollywood. Not only that, he's directed three feature-length films. Uh, the third one, um, I'm trying to think of the name, uh, Chrome Skull, uh, Late to Rest 2 was his third one. And so Fear Clinic will be his fourth, hopefully. Uh, he, uh, which makes Robert Green Hall, amazing, is the fact that he has an uncanny sense of story, which I don't see very often, and it was really kind of a real great pleasure to collaborate with him on writing and, and adapting the feature, uh, the uh, web series into a feature. Fantastic. Now, looking through the list there, you've got Robert England, you've got Danielle Harris yes. from Hatchie, you've got Angelina Armani, and, wait for it ladies and gentlemen, Kane Hodder, and the same yes. film as Robert England, and they're all set to star in this Clinic film. It's safe to say you've picked the best talent from miles around to star in this film. Now, Freddy right. and public's favorite Jason are on screen together. How on earth did you manage that? Well, yeah, we approached them, obviously, independently about it. And, you know, Kane had been a friend, a real close friend of uh, Robert Greenhall, the director of the web series. Uh, and, uh, interesting enough, uh, Robert England had been a, a close friend, or a good friend, of Mark B. Johnson, the producer. Uh, who has gone on to do several things, including uh, the movie Jobs, starring Aston Kutcher, um, at least most recently, anyway. Uh, so we 
We basically approached them and said, what do you think about this idea? Here's the script. Can you give it a read as quickly as you can? Because we're kind of a, we have FearNet was calling us to see if they were, we were able to attach them or not. And they both pretty much simultaneously the same weekend said, we're, we're in. Uh, and they immediately, they immediately got the, the uh, whole Freddy versus Jason thing. But they also said, you know, it's even better. Because, as you know, in Freddy vs. Jason, the movie, Robert Englund was, was a star in it, but Kane Hunter did not. So that whole kind of dynamic never really took place. But for the first time ever, the real Freddy and real Jason took place in the web series. And that's, uh, that's what I think uh, was, a, was a big underlying factor in terms of uh, the excitement behind it. Definitely. I can, I can just hear horror yeah. fans worldwide right now yeah. saying, well, Robert oh England gosh. and Kane, unbelievable. And yeah. the, aside from that completely unfear clinic related, what was that car that I heard in the background? That's got to be a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or something. <laughs> it sounded unbelievable. Something, something. It yeah, sounded unbelievable. A lot of people racing around here, I know. I'm Only sorry in about America, those. buddy. Only in yeah. America. Only, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Now, the Indiegogo campaign is underway with a goal to reach $150,000 to get it funded. Now, what perks can donators get if they pledge their money towards the campaign? Some real specialized perks. Um, we sat down and brainstormed uh, You know, the, the team. You'll see them listed on the Indiegogo site. We basically said, what experience can fans, contributors, backers take away from participating in, in this campaign with us. And we had a lot of, we, I think what makes it exciting for us is we can draw from the special effects arena. So we can offer, you know, perks that will allow contributors to join Robert Greenhall's very elite award-winning special effects team to actually make this movie on set. Wow. That's one of the perks. Uh, secondly, we have a lot of, um, one of a kind perks, uh, such as the, actually, if you're familiar with the, with the fear chamber, which it's kind of like the the um, the um, sort of what I'm looking for here, the device that makes the fear phobias come to life, if you will, manifest in reality. Uh, fans have a backers have a chance to actually climb inside the fear chamber for their very own, uh, which is, you know. It's going to be quite exciting because we're going to juice it up with sound and special effects and things like that. I was going to say, is it fully operational? I mean, you could really scare the crap out of someone and they've paid for that experience. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's, that's the intention. Yes, yes. And, of course, for the movie, we're giving the, the Fear Chamber an upgrade. So there's a lot to be had with the Fear Chamber. We're only starting to, to introduce the Fear Chamber through the web series, but it plays a very, very important role in the movie uh, and franchise itself. Um, other perks, we have... The, the chance to sit on the set uh, with the stars, you know, the, the three horror, uh, Daniel Harris, uh, Kane Hodder, and Robert England, you'll be able to, uh, backers will be able to come on the set and hang out with us for a few days with the stars and the crew, and then go attend the rap party. So, you know, for horror fans, there's nothing else like this. This is a golden opportunity to spend time with the horror legends who have, I don't know about you, but they certainly haunted my childhood. So, you know, this is a golden opportunity uh, a great experience that you can take with you above and beyond just contributing, above and beyond just appreciating good horror, you know? Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, so. obviously, I'm only 21, so I mean, Nightmare on Elm Street was way before I was born, but when I first saw it, I was around 10 or 11 years old, and I was You're too scared to go to sleep, man. I mean, only recently yeah. I've watched the, the Friday the 13th series straight from the start, and I mean, Kane Hodder, he's got to be the best. He's always <laughs> yeah. going to be the best, but he's still one scary kind of guy. He made Jason yeah. come to life like nobody else managed to. It was unbelievable. Just alone. I mean, he's a silent killer, isn't he? I mean, think of what he achieved without uttering one sound of dialogue. Exactly. I mean, he really brought a lot to the wall. And, and, and to wearing a mask to boot, you know, just through the, the mannerisms, the eyes. He, he really conveyed a lot. I mean, it's remarkable. Yeah, I mean, they you always know. say that with the, the mass killers. They got Michael Myers. I mean, even Freddy, under the amount of latex and appliance, it's hard to convey emotion. True. The same as uh, Jason's mask. But they always say they are the best actors. You have to really convey that emotion of that character, not through eyes, not through um, your face, facial expressions, but your movements, your actions, each and every step that you make. Surely harder right. than uh, looking sad on camera or looking angry, for instance. And to watch that come alive on set... It is an experience, let me tell you. Scary stuff. To watch man. them get it. It is scary <laughs> stuff. You know, I, every time I talk to them or when I email them to this day, I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm emailing Freddy Krueger or I'm calling <laughs> Kay, I'm calling Jason. 
you know, I'm expecting some heavy breathing on the other end and some some exciting, uh, you know, sound effects to kill it, just to kick in. But uh, you know, it's Kane Hodder, and Kane Hodder actually is a wonderful, terrific guy. You know, great to work with. Yeah, I, I can imagine. I mean, I know from personal experience. I mean, Robert England. I mean, I've had an autograph sent through from him from over the states for my birthday. And I mean, Kane Hodder. He sent me a machete, a signed machete for my birthday, and he recorded me a video message saying, "Have a great birthday, or I'll kill you." And even through a video message across the pond, I still absolutely crap myself. I was like, "This, this guy means business. He hasn't even got a mask on. That's a face I'm seeing right there." It's even absolutely, worse. Yeah. absolutely. I mean, oh man, he put those. Now, if you take those two actors, England and, and, and Hotter, and put them on the set, their chemistry instantly ignites, and you can just feel it. It's very tangible, you know, it's phenomenal. So, we're hoping to, you know, bring that to the movie as well. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. I really wish you all the luck with that. Now, I mean, looking through the perks, I noticed one of them was that you could name your own phobia and have Correct. it mentioned in the film. Now, a question yes. to you, Aaron. If yeah. you had to make up a name for a phobia, what would it be? Really? Oh yeah. my goodness! Really? Well, I'd like to. I'd probably in the. I've been doing this for a while, you know, coming up with these phobias and, and exploring the dimensions of them. There's so many crossovers with phobias, so I, I think it would, for me personally, be hard for me to name one phobia. I'd actually have to have an amalgamation of phobias, like you know, fear of the water during night when you can't see the bottom. That thing, that kind of stuff, or a full during a full moon. So all these kind of flavors of phobias would have to trickle into it because it's not just one set of circumstances with that sets me off. It's always like, well, there's this, and if you think about it a little bit more, it's the terror of this, and don't forget something might eat you from below. So <laughs> all of these phobias are kind of mushed together. That's going to so. be one hell of a long phobia. I mean, I yeah, mean as absolutely. soon as you think of that, let me know and we'll post okay. it around the net and I'm sure we'll, we'll create a phobia of our own. Well, that just about yeah. wraps it up for me, Aaron. I mean, you, you guys who are yeah. listening out there, you have to go and check out Fear Clinic on Indiegogo. Please, the link, please do. The link is in the, in, in the description box. Help to make horror movie history and in return be rewarded in kind with some amazing perks as Aaron's just mentioned there. Thank you for joining us, Aaron. I wish you all the best of the luck with the success of the campaign. Thank you, Sean.